In the metals quadrant, we have a rise in the copper futures prices for three consecutive sessions now, copper moving higher by about 1.85 during that three session rise. Today's high, four spot 0.965, that was up 1.19%. The low today, four spot 0. 420 that was down 16 basis points. Copper's also risen about 10.66% since the low close on February 9th of this year. Factory orders in the US today rose by 1.4% beating expectations and adding to the strength that we saw in the ISM manufacturing figures yesterday, all of this being supportive for the price of copper. Yields have also risen in the last two sessions, but despite that, the dollar is having its worst day today in the aggregate since March 20th, which is supportive for copper. Copper has an inverse relationship both to US yields and to the dollar, but the dollar effect seems to be stronger than the yield effect. And part of that could be because in terms of the dollar weakness, because we're also seeing yield strength in the EU and especially in the UK. So those currencies are suffering a little bit or rather gaining a little bit versus the US dollar, which is supported for copper because the US dollar is staying weak. Also, in this particular scenario, the fact that the dollar is more supportive to copper than the yields would be a headwind for copper can be explained by the fact that the rate cut probabilities here in the US have not changed. And this means producers may likely have lower rates pushing manufacturing growth higher globally, which would be supportive for copper prices. So far, the market is still pricing in three rate cuts in 2024 here in the US, and all of that cutting across the US global economy would be supportive for industrial metals.